Hey guys, for my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to review a vanity. I got this vanity on Craigslist for $15, but it's a little beat up. The chair has a rip in the top. The knobs on this are really ugly, and the top is all scratched, and the paint is coming off. First thing I'm going to do is take off the knobs of the drawer with a screwdriver. Next, I want to disassemble the mirror. Okay, now it's time to add the paint stripper. So I'm going to put on my gloves and I'm going to spray this down. So now I'm going to scrape off the paint remover. It's been sitting for about 15 minutes. And I advise you to wear clothes that you really don't care about because this is pretty messy. We're starting to see our wood. So I finished using the paint remover and I scraped off as much as I could. Now it's time to take my sander and sand off as much as I can. I'm gonna use the mask so I don't get sawdust at my nose. It's also probably helpful to wear goggles, but I'm not going to because I didn't get a pair. So, here we go. Now we're going to spray paint it. I decided to go with a gray color because I'm going to do my vanity gray and yellow for the inside drawers. And make sure you're wearing gloves and a mask because safety is first. I'm going to spray the drawers yellow and I'm going to leave this part blank because I'm going to um, decoupage it with some paper. I'm going to show you how to do that later once it's dry with some Mod Podge. So we're just going to do the sides and the inside. Right now everything's outside drying, so I'm going to work on covering the top of my chair. The first thing I want to do is take my fabric and lay it down on the floor. You want to take your chair top and lay it down on top of the fabric and cut around it so that you have a little bit extra room because what you're going to do is staple it down. So. If you cut it too short, then you're not going to be able to staple it down. So I just things kind of scare me, so bear with me. And I'm just going to press down and make sure it's tight. And staple it in. You want to make sure you're pulling the fabric tight as you staple it. You want the cushion to look like it's fitted and that the seat cover is not saggy. Almost done. Just put a couple in to make sure that it's really secure. Okay, so this is what the front looks like. 
And now we can take a scissor and just trim this. It doesn't really matter too much because we're going to glue it down in the chair anyway so you won't see the bottom. But we do have quite a bit of extra fabric. Ta-da! It's finally done. Now we're going to apply the seat cover by using some wood glue. So I'm just going to apply it all over the bench. If I can get it to work. Okay. Make sure the top is open. <laughs> so I'm just squirting it all over. Okay. Okay, there we go. And now... show you now how to cover the dresser drawers using scrap paper and Mod Podge. So it turns out like this and all you're going to need is scrap paper. You can use tissue paper, magazines, newspaper, whatever kind of paper you want and Mod Podge and a paintbrush. So the first thing you're going to do is take your drawer that's why we didn't spray paint the front of it so well because I knew I was going to cover it anyways. So I'm going to take my scrap paper, which I got this from Michaels for four pieces of paper for a dollar. So I just got four in case I messed up. I'm going to take my drawer and kind of measure it with a piece of paper. I'm going to want to give a little extra room because I'm going to want to bend it over the sides. This is how I like to do it. I like to crease it. Here. And let's see how this fits. Basically, we're just wrapping it. So that looks pretty good on both sides. Perfect. So the next thing we want to do is take our Mod Podge. So you're going to pour some out. Take your brush and just cover the drawer. Don't be stingy with it. You can just drop it on there. Pretty good. You can always add more to the sides. Go back here with your finger after. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to try and place it down as straight as possible. You want the pattern to be straight and it's kind of hard when you have a pattern like this. You can just kind of pull it and maneuver it so you know it's perfect. I think that's pretty straight. So I'm going to just bend the sides and I'm going to take a card. You can use a credit card, a flat surface like that. And I'm going to scrape it to make sure there's no bubbles in the glue. And you really want that paper to stick down and soak up all that Mod Podge. Next, we're going to do the sides. So I'm going to take my scissor and I'm going to cut little slits at the corners. I'm going to do all the corners because we're going to need to tuck it under. I'll show you in one second. So I'm going to take my finger and the Mod Podge and just put a ton of that underneath because we really want the sides to stick. We don't want this peeling off when we open the drawer. So we're going to put that Mod Podge there underneath. You can take your card again and really scrape it down. It's okay if you get Mod Podge on the top because we're going to go over it anyways. So I'm just really trying to seal it down. So I'm taking some Mod Podge on my finger, putting it under the corner, and I'm going to tuck it that way. Then I'll do the same thing with this side, and I'll tuck it back facing this way. 
so that I can take this top piece and fold it down and then fold this corner back over it facing the other way. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to go back over it with the card because I want to make sure that it's really glued down. Okay, we're going to now put a top coat with Mod Podge and I know it seems scary taking Mod Podge and putting it over this because it already looks so awesome and perfect, but I guess that's just what you got to do from what I've learned because it seals it in and it makes it not such a paper, like delicate texture. So we're going to take the Mod Podge and just put it on stroking back and forth. I've already done two coats of Mod Podge. I'm going to do one last coat and then let it dry. So the hardest part is over. We've Mod Podge the drawers and we've done the chair. So let's let everything sit and dry while we assemble the rest of the vanity. Hey guys, overnight our Mod Podge drawers dried. So today I assembled the knobs as well as the mirror. So this is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. The inside of the drawers are yellow to match, and thanks for watching my DIY video on how to do a vanity. Next week I'll be showing you how to do ugly Christmas sweaters for super cheap, so make sure you subscribe, and if you have any suggestions or questions, just comment below. Thanks!